Hey, Rob here. What we're going to do today is install Windows 7 in a virtual machine under VirtualBox on Ubuntu 12.4. This could be any operating system that we're trying to install. You could even do another Ubuntu in there, or you could do Windows XP. Pick your poison. What we're doing is we're going into the Ubuntu Software Center and picking VirtualBox. That's V-I-R-T-U-A-L-B-O-X, and you can do that by searching in the top right corner. I'll make other comments as they're necessary. Please play this full screen. It's a lot easier to get something out of this if you're playing it in full screen at the highest definition possible. Thanks. There is a jump cut for you. I changed the background. Anyway, what you're looking for is the VirtualBox icon that installed itself on the left side of the screen. You can see it here. You're going to make a new virtual machine. You name it. It's pretty smart. If you type in Windows 7, see how it picked up the version? Pretty slick. Up the base memory size, it puts 512, which is basically unlivable. You probably should have two. I don't have enough RAM for that, really. When you create a new disk, I switch it over to Virtual Machine uh, for VMware. Uh, that is a personal preference. If you're not using VMware anywhere else, there's no reason to do that. Uh, going back a little bit, if you check the video RAM, really you should have about 128 megs if you'd like to enable Arrow on Windows 7. Just a note. I'm showing it right there. You see how I've got 16 Megs. Really, I should have 128 if I want arrow. No, I really was not kidding. You really do need 128 megs. I flubbed that up. Okay, next what we're going to do is start the VM. You should have already inserted your Windows 7 CD, I'm sorry, DVD, into the drive. Yes, of course you need a Windows 7 CD to do this, or whatever operating system you had. Just click Next. There we go. And you don't need to select a boot device, it's going to boot from the right device. You can ignore most of these warnings. Notice how it's complaining about video. This is all pretty standard. Notice how I used custom setup and selected the whole drive for installation. That's actually normal for Windows 7. I'm going to assume you know how to do this installation if you're watching this video, so I'll probably stay quiet for a while until we get to the interesting part where I have to install the additions.
what's important here, what I'm trying to show you is that the seamless mode is grayed out. And that is because we do not have the VirtualBox extensions installed yet. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And if you notice, I'm going to download the CD image. Now that's all built in, so you can use the menu selections that I use to get there. And now it's going to download the image. It's going to complain because I already have a CD mounted. And then it's going to mount the CD. Notice how the auto run popped up as soon as the CD was mounted, just like regular CD. Just choose to run it. In this particular case, you don't need to worry about running it as admin or anything. However, if you are going to use arrow effects, you're going to need to install this from safe mode. You can go ahead and install this part first. It won't let you install the part you can't install outside of safe mode here. So you'll be okay, but remember, if you want arrow, you're going to have to reboot by, by rebooting, hitting F6 and going into safe mode. It'll be F6 and then I think it's F8. Uh, choosing safe mode and then installing from there and you'll be able to select the second checkbox that's about to come up anytime now. Hello? You there? Okay, well, not yet. There it is, that second checkbox about the direct DD. I can't really install it. Note that you have to say no instead of yes to that last part to get it to actually install. And it doesn't matter, you have to be in safe mode. But this installs the rest so that you can fuse your two desktops together. And there you go. Uh, you've basically got a fused desktop with Windows 7. 
That's pretty much it. I'm going to run Kelk here just to show it. There you go. Thanks for watching.